What's up, YouTube family? It's your prince, Kai Ezekiel. So, I had to talk to y'all for a second. Couple questions. And comments. Why is it that when you tell people that you're a Christian, when you tell people that you love God, when you tell people that you love Jesus, when you tell people that you love Joshua, Yashua, when you're Jewish, Muslim, Christian, anybody of faith, honestly, why is it that people want to test you? Why is it that people want to test you and test you? Why is it that when you tell people about the love of Jesus Christ, they push you and provoke you to anger? First of all, have y'all heard of the wrath of God? God has unconditional love, but he also gives people exactly what they deserve. So if God can get angry, so can I. That's number one. Number two, why is it that you don't want to believe me, but then when you see miracles happen in my life, when I'm happy, when I'm proud, when I'm confident, when I'm successful, you still don't believe it. I mean, it's okay because ignorance shows. However, I have the right to, one, believe whatever I want to believe because I'm an American and I have the right to practice my religion free freely and openly, with confidence, without persecution. But I just find it amazing that people want to say, oh, you're hypocritical because you do this and you do that. First of all, I'm human, just like everybody else on this planet. So I'm not perfect and I'm entitled to make my own mistakes. And what they don't see, what they what they want to see is your mistakes and your shortcomings, but they don't want to see your victories. That's the funny part. You want to sit there in your negativity and say, you did this, you did that, you did this, you did that. But then when you want to fight to the death for your redemption, for your love, for the love that's in your heart, because you know no matter what mistake you make, you know that you can be a better person and you strive all day, every day for that love, for that strength, for that power, for that joy, for that peace, to share with the world the gospel, to save people from themselves, from Satan. I just... I'm in, I'm, I'm in an interesting place in my life right now where I'm starting to realize my strengths and I'm starting to realize the amount of intelligence that God has given me, the amount of intelligence that I've been blessed with. And I just, I'm thankful. I'm so thankful to know a loving God who has my back. But again, I'm not perfect and no one has the right to call anybody a hypocrite for not being perfect, for making mistakes, because we all make mistakes. Nobody is perfect, first of all. And the blood of Jesus covers our souls. Did you read that in the Bible or did you not read it at all? Now, again, I strive all day, every day to spread my love, the unconditional love of God that I've been taught and I have read and I have studied and I bask myself in every single day because I know I have a responsibility to be a light to this world. And I am a light to this world. I am a bright light. Now, again, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I may be very unorthodox by a lot of people's standards. And that's okay. Because first of all, it's 2017. And 
we are the New Testament church. Everything starting in Matthew till now is the New Testament church. And we have the right to let God lead us in our lives. And we have the right to be special, to be different, to be individuals, and to reach out to people who previously have been persecuted and pushed away. Sorry, but not everybody is going to listen to someone with a suit and tie. Not everyone is going to listen to a reverend, to the bishop. God has a place in, God, God has a purpose for all of us. I know my purpose, and my purpose is to let my light so shine before men so that they may see my good works and glorify my Father, which is in heaven, Matthew 5, 16. I paraphrase it a little bit to make it mine, but pretty much it's the same. I believe that. I believe that. And for anybody that I may have offended in any videos that I've ever made, I humbly apologize and I beg for your, I beg for your forgiveness. But I am not going to stop preaching my truth. I am not going to stop loving unconditionally. And I'm not going to stop fighting for what's right. I'm not going to stop fighting for what I deserve. And what I deserve is unconditional love, peace, hope, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Fruits of the Spirit. I will reiterate, I am not perfect. Would I like to be perfect? Kind of, but then life would be a little boring if I was perfect. Honestly. But I do also know that I am blessed to know the truth and I am blessed to be have the knowledge to preach it. I'm 21 years old now and I have a responsibility to strengthen myself and to strengthen the people that I love and care about. And I will not get caught up in my past. I will not get caught up in my shortcomings. I will not get caught up in sin that and evil and negativity and complaining and whining and just letting the toxins of this earth kill me. I deserve better. And you do too. We have an opportunity every day to wake up and say, I am not a victim. I am a conqueror. I am a king. I am a leader. That's what you need to tell yourself. Not tell yourself that this person did this and that person did that. And, oh, I can't do anything. I can't be successful because of this person. Stop blaming people for your own problems. Because at the end of the day, we have the right to make our own choices and our own decisions. Take the things that happened to you. Take the mistakes that you made. Learn from them. Make yourself stronger. Love harder. Preach harder. Tell the world that. you are strong and that no matter what anybody does to you, you can make it. I have done some, some things in my lifetime. I'm only 21 and I know a lot of you people who are in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s who are looking at this little 21 year old saying, boy, you don't know nothing. I know a couple things. And I know that Sometimes I hate myself and I get depressed. I have anxiety. I might have a little bipolar disorder and PTSD. But I have the paperwork since I was 15, first of all. And I've been abused. I've been hurt. I've been neglected. And then some. And I'm not even going to go into my past, but anybody who's seen I've Been Here, Done That, anybody who hasn't seen I've Been Here, Done That, watch it. Because it tells a lot of my story. Not completely, but it tells a little bit of my story. But I 
I'm proud of the person that I've become because though I continue to mess up, I continue to fight harder to be a better person. And I will not stop loving. I will not stop loving. And you guys can get as mad as you want. I don't care. Because my love is not going to stop flowing. And... I'm going to keep spreading that love and that light. I'm not going to let my past stop me from my future or my present. And I deserve unconditional love in return. And I don't care what anybody says because it's not your life. It's mine. I have control over my life. I have control over my own happiness. And I say I'm going to get what I deserve. I'm going to get that unconditional love, that peace, and that fulfillment that I deserve. Because I'm good enough. And so are you. God bless.